Meditation is the act of focusing one's attention on a single object or idea. These objects or ideas could be one's breathing or a line of words or sounds known as a mantra. Meditation started out as a religious practice but is now practiced widely for many reasons that aren't religious. One hormone that is affected by meditation is cortisol. Cortisol is a steroid hormone that is produced in the two adrenal glands located on top of each kidney. When the body becomes stressed, it produces cortisol and adrenaline. Some of these two hormones are good, but when people are routinely stressed, they have too much cortisol and it begins to take a toll on them. Cortisol is a major age accelerating hormone, so the less stress, the less cortisol, the better. A study by UC Davis says the body experiences a decline in cortisol production after only a few weeks of meditation. Furthermore, a study by Rutgers University discovered meditation, meditators have almost a 50% reduction in cortisol production than people that don't meditate. Another hormone that is affected by meditation is GABA. GABA is a hormone that makes you feel calm. Anyone with an addiction has a lack of GABA. Boston University School of Medicine found a 27% increase of GABA after just 60 minutes of meditation. This was surprisingly more effective than physical exercise. Practicing meditation will help fight anxiety and addiction by increasing GABA. The growth hormone is another hormone that is affected by meditation. The growth hormone is a hormone made in the pituitary gland that stimulates growth. The pace at which it is released decreases around the age 40, which in return causes aging, weaker bones and muscles, increased body fat, poor heart conditions, fatigue, etc. The state where our brain releases the most growth hormone is delta. Delta is a brainwave frequency found during meditation and the deepest stage of sleep. The growth hormone is produced during delta, which occurs during meditation, so by meditating, you are releasing more of the growth hormone. That is why meditators look so young, fresh, and healthy. Another hormone affected during meditation is melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone in the pineal gland that levels blood peaking before you go to sleep. It helps you achieve restful sleep. Melatonin levels are negatively affected when you stare at a computer or phone screen before bed. That's why you should meditate before you go to bed, for melatonin levels are boosted by an average 98% in habitual meditators. <laughs> Last but not least, DHEA is a hormone released during meditation. DHEA is a parent hormone produced in the adrenal glands as well as in the brain. It leads to the production of androgens and estrogens, male and female hormones. Scientists have found that DHEA levels directly relate to death. Therefore, the less DHEA you have, the fewer years you have left to live. That is why scientists refer to the DHEA hormone as the longevity molecule. Meditation dramatically boosts DHEA levels. A study by the former president of the American Board of Anti-Aging Medicine discovered meditators have 43.77% more DHEA than those that don't meditate. That is why grandma is going to meditate every day for the next Five years, right, Grandma? <laughs> right. <laughs> now that you know the chemicals involved in meditation, you can start meditating to improve your mood, increase your lifespan, relax you, improve your health, help you achieve restful sleep, and many more. You can learn more about the chemicals involved in meditation by visiting www.chemistryislife.com.